All praises to the Most High. Hey, beautiful people. So this video is very needful. Pray to God, not Christ. And I'm just going to go into some precepts really quickly. Uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 5. For there is one God and one mediator, mediator between God and man, the man, Christ. Jesus, it says, Emmanuel, well, Christ Jesus, that's in 1 Timothy 2 and 5, Hebrews 7 and 25, wherefore he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever lived to make intercession for them. So what? That come unto God by him and he lives to make intercession for, for them. Okay, so just like the, the Holy Spirit makes intercession for you, um, Hebrews 7 and 25 tells you that Christ makes intercession for you and when you have time you can read the whole chapter of Hebrews chapter 7 and it goes into him being the high priest right Matthew chapter 3 and 17 and low a voice from heaven saying this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased so I just want to make the difference between Christ and God because you've got people who pray to Christ and they should be praying to God right as the um, John 6 and 57 as the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eats me, even he shall live by me. So Christ there is telling you he was sent from the Father, which is in heaven, right? Um, now, John 8, chapter 8, verse 16, And yet if I judge, my judgment is true, for I am not alone, but I and the Father that sent me. So Christ here is telling you he was sent by the Father again. Now, Psalms chapter 2, verse 4, um, he that sits in the heavens shall laugh. So that's talking about God. The Lord shall have them in derision. Now, Isaiah chapter 40, verse 22. It is he that sits upon the circle of the earth and the inhabitants thereof are as grasshoppers that stretched out the heavens as a curtain and spreads them out as a tent to dwell in. Um, Revelations chapter four, verse two, and immediate, immediately I was in the spirit and behold, the throne was set in heaven and one sat on the throne. The one who sits on the throne is God. Right now, Isaiah chapter 66, verse one, thus says the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that you build onto me? And where is the place of my rest? So God is in his holy habitation. Okay. Christ came down to save the people. He sent his son. If you understand the parable about uh, uh, um, the king sent his son and they beat him, he sent more servants and they beat him. That's talking about the prophets. He sent more prophets, his messengers, and they beat them and sent them away. And then he sent his son. His son was Christ. And then they killed him. That, pro that, that parable is talking about the prophets in Christ, right? Now, Mark chapter 9, verse 7. And there was a cold that overshadowed them and a voice came out of the cloud saying, this is my beloved son, hear him. That's God talking to the apostles and the disciples telling them to hear Christ, hear his beloved son. Now, so learn the difference between God and Christ. Now, chapter now, this is the book of Acts chapter 5, I mean, chapter 7, verse 55. But he being full of the Holy Ghost, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of God and Christ standing at the right hand of God. So now this is telling you that the Messiah is sitting at the right hand of God, that Christ Jesus is sit, um, Emmanuel is sitting at the right hand of God. Now Acts chapter seven verse fifty six, and said, "Behold, I see the heavens open and the Son of Man sit standing on the right hand of God." Now Ephesians chapter one verse twenty, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him on his own right hand in heavenly places. Now Ephesians chapter one verse seventeen, that the God of our Lord. Christ, Jesus Christ, well, Emmanuel the Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Now, Galatians chapter 3, verse 1. If you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sits at the right hand of God. So we understand Christ sitting at the right hand of God. Now, Acts chapter 10, verse 40. Him God raised up the third day and showed him openly. Matthew chapter 17, verse 23. And they shall kill him and the third day he shall be risen again and they were exceedingly sorry so now we know who he that's who god raised on the third day now chat um the first book of john chapter 2 verse 22 who is a liar but he that denies jesus is the christ emmanuel is the christ he is the antichrist and denies the father and the son so you got people who